Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Nikki here and today I am doing a towny makeover challenge. So I thought I'd start this challenge with one of the most well-known families in The Sims and that is the Goth family. With this challenge I wanted to make sure that I didn't touch their genetics. So I didn't change their facial features apart from eyebrows I believe and I don't change their body but I did want to stick to the essence of what I felt made each sim. So with the goth family I feel like as hinted by their name I suppose that they are slightly more gothic but not too much. I would describe them as gothic light. Each member has their deep dark black hair and they kind of remind me of the Adams family a little bit. So with the famous Bella Goth, I didn't actually realise how beautiful she was until I changed her hair and took off the Maxis makeup. I think it's funny how much Alpha CC changes a sim. This style of hair is actually one of my favourites. I used to have a wig like this before I cut my hair off actually. Just the bangs with the long straight hair, I just think it looks beautiful. So I wanted to give that to Bella and I also wanted to give her suitable makeup that matched her outfit. But at the same time, you can tell that I'm just taking absolutely ages because like I said in a previous video, I just think makeup is my weakest area in Creator Sim. So I really wanted to just make sure I was updating, modernising this family so I'm trying to stick to the elements that they previously have. So with Bella she has a necklace, she has the red dress and I actually did stick with this dress for a long time but then I changed it. I wanted to give her something a little bit more interesting, a little bit more modern. She's a young adult so I wanted to give her an outfit that reflected that and I felt this outfit was a lot better. Next we have Mortimer Goth and he kind of gives me this sense of slight arrogance, maybe he thinks he's just a little bit better than other people, so I wanted to give him hair and clothes that I felt matched this persona. I still feel like Mortimer Goth is, you know, harmless even though he looks a little bit like Sorry to say, a douche. <laughs> so I wanted to give him hair that you could just tell this man cares a lot about his appearance. He uses a lot of hairspray. He has to have it just right, but almost pretend it's effortless. But you can just tell he spends ages in the mirror. With his clothes, I originally wanted to give him a really nice blazer, but I realise I don't actually have much super smart looking CC so I gave him clothes that I felt still signified how confident he is and when I found this print I just thought it takes a real confident man who really cares about how he looks, how he presents himself to wear such a bold shirt. I combined it with this nice pair of trousers and smart shoes give him that sockless look you know and I think he looks very attractive and dapper Up next we have Cassandra Goth and her traits say that she's creative but gloomy. I don't know why I said but, you can be both at the same time. I'm both at the same time. But I definitely wanted her outfit to reflect this. She seems a little bit like a rebel teenager, a little bit of a Wednesday Adams vibe. But once again, I wanted to keep the same element. So she had pigtails, so I definitely wanted to keep that. And I couldn't really tell if she was wearing her own clothes or a school uniform. So I chose 
this cute black pleated skirt but with a top that was a little bit more interesting had a little bit more character but I guess you can still wear this outfit to school or college I'm not quite sure how old she is but I felt like it was an appropriate outfit for her studying but also hanging out and it looked similar to what she was wearing before I think my favourite thing about this outfit are her adidas socks and a pair of these cool yellow boots bringing out the yellow in her top. I thought that the pigtails in the end made her look a lot younger than I wanted her to look. Now she could be 13, she could be 19, I'm not sure, maybe I should have looked it up. But I wanted her to look a little bit older so I chose these pigtails that I actually wanted to choose in my last video and didn't. So I feel like this pigtails suit Cassandra so much better than Polly Pink from my last video. I feel like I have a deeper connection with people who wear glasses because I personally cannot survive without my glasses I cannot see at all so I put her glasses back on because I didn't want her to have that struggle I also gave her a cool nose ring some dark makeup to go with what teenagers wear I guess I don't know <laughs> and I actually wanted to give her these raven bone earrings but I stuck with multiple piercings because I like piercings So the last and youngest member of the family is Alexander Goff and this is where I realised that I removed so much children's CC because it was taking up a lot of space. I have a massive folder of CC but I don't style children as often or as detailed as I style sims who are teens and up. So I removed a lot of CC and then when I did this challenge I realised oh I could have done with all that CC that I removed. So I ended up implementing a lot of Maxis items which I actually don't mind doing for kids. I think there are a lot of nice Maxis items in the game and I even download Maxis match recolors of game items so it worked out in the end. I wanted to make him a little version of Mortimer Goth, I wanted him to look like this cute sophisticated child and I really wanted to use these dark red trousers like his dad but I just could not cope with the length, they were just so cropped. So I picked a pair of dark Maxis trousers instead, I popped his glasses back on and I think he looks cute. If you like this video please give a thumbs up, please subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, bye everyone.